People might say that in his youth, the president was an alcoholic, and he sold his wild oats all over, and that he cheated in his exams. He faked joining the army, and he racketeered to make himself rich. But you know all these are just rumors spread by his enemies. Like Abraham, Isaac, Solomon, and Moses, he was ruthless towards other peaceful nations with wealth. So I'm praying to you to accept the soul of the president into your eternal kingdom. Maybe so, but he said the word Allah, and we don't want his kind in this country. Allah is not a bad word. It only means God. All the Arabic Bibles, even before the Prophet Muhammad, still used by the 20 million Arab Christians up to the present time, call God Allah. I don't want a lesson in linguistics. I want this man charged. Honorable First Lady, we will charge him with terrorism, anti-Semitism, possession of child pornography, and put him away for good. Is that possible? It is routine. We do it every day, Honorable First Lady. Or better yet, we'll shoot him and make a report saying that he was wearing a suicide belt. We had to shoot him according to the ticking bomb theory. Can we do that? Oh yeah, we do that all the time. On Boxy News, they have been talking about all the conspiracy theories. Man, some of that stuff is pretty convincing. After watching all that stuff, even I'm convinced that we did it. But we had some help, of course. They say the president must have known about it. The implication is that not only the president knew about it, but he organized it for his own petty reasons. You know that he believed that Gotham tried to kill his father. That was never proven. Even if it was true, he could have just sent the Secret Service to Baghdad and kill Gotham. We regularly assassinate foreign leaders. There's no need to start two wars to kill one puny Gotham. We have known the president all our lives. We know he keeps a grudge and will do anything to get back the people whom he hates. He must have done it just to get Gotham. Everybody knows that Dick was running the whole show. He was adamant about getting that oil pipeline built through Afghanistan. I'm sure Dick orchestrated the whole thing just to get that pipeline built. There were thousands of tons of asbestos, billions of dollars worth, in those buildings. All that asbestos was pulverized and spread all over the city, killing thousands with cancer in the following years. So what? People die all the time. 25,000 people die in car accidents every weekend. 3,000 people is a small price to pay for a second Pearl Harbor. You piece of shit, stupid president. You thought you were more powerful than God. You blew up those towers and killed thousands, including my father. Now you lie in your own poop and piss and stay there for days.